Honor seeing you. Nice to meet you. Nice to well, see you again. You too. Congrats on this. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Point to the poster. Not the poster, but the movie, of course. Obviously. Yeah. So great. This is my favorite because it's a blend of our two characters. Yeah, I want to take that, that home with me. <laughs> For those who don't know, tell everybody who you're the voice of. Oh, I play Giggle McDimples herself, the tiniest toy to exist in the Toy Story universe. And my name's Kristen Shaw, and I play Trixie. I love your characters, and I love seeing them together, too. Right? Yeah. So talk about the day you found out you were entering the Toy Story universe. Mine was very, and she's heard the story now a hundred. I will hear she's it never heard more it. times. I Why got, don't I tell your uh, story and you tell mine? I, mm, yeah, this is great. Okay. Don't remember Sorry. mine. <laughs> No, so, no, 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 Allie, no, 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 Lee Uncrit. Allie, yep. oh, you want to go first? Uh, go Allie first. got into the Toy Story world because she made a video with a couple friends and a dog that nobody saw except for yeah. somebody at Pixar, and yeah. it was her laugh, and they were like, that's our, our Giggles McDimple. Yep. Did I say it right? Yeah, Giggle McDimple. Giggle yeah. McDimple. Mm -hmm. yep. And so then she got a letter in the mail with the character, um, just like a, a black folder she calls yep. it a cia folder yeah. but it's not from the cia so no, i don't know no. why you keep describing well, it pixar cia way. Uh, <laughs> and inside it it had a description of the character a picture of the character and invited her to play um in the toy story franchise that's exact wow so how'd you do on a scale of one to ten uh, ten i mean Fantastic. she'll just tell my story now for forever I love your story oh uh, i love your story so, so how did you find out about your gig Allie. Yes. Um, well, Leon Critch was a big fan of Flight of the Concord, so he's watching TV one he's night. He's the director of Toy Story 3. Yes, correct. correct. And saw her on Flight of the Concords on one channel, flipped the channel, saw her on The Daily Show, and within, you know, two minutes of each other, and said, that, that's my girl. And that's how Trixie was born. Was there an audition process, or did you just hit the ground running? I auditioned. I happened to be in London at the time, but we Skyped, and I auditioned, um, and I got the part. How cool is it, no matter what you do from this moment forward, knowing that you have merch on shelves yeah. around the world that's you? It's so crazy. It's really cool. It's so crazy. I mean, it's the pinnacle of all coolness. It really um, is. I really believe in the story, too, and, and the artistry that went into to this franchise, so I'm proud of it. Yeah. Like, it, like, it's something that I'm glad is very successful, and I'm glad it's, like, gangbusters and people are drawn to it. So it's it's nice. Yeah. It's nice not to be embarrassed by your work. And I think <laughs> Wait, wait, back. Um, have you been embarrassed by <laughs> I have it. I have what it. What on your catalog should we be looking at? Nothing. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, I think what's great is when I look at these toys, it's, it's such a representation of so many things, but most of all, just how collaborative this process was. I and mean, we talked about how incredible the animators are. I mean, we we went in and lent our voices, but they added the most insaneness on the top of that. I mean, the, the talent of yeah. everyone at Pixar, and they care so much. Like, they really always say it's a Pixar family, but it truly is. Like, you feel that love it's from very day. Culty. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on the Pixar campus day and day for every theatrical and home video release. Really? Since that building was built. So I know oh, this yeah. cult. Yeah. Wow, I this cult. Yeah. right? I, uh, <laughs> sign me up. I'm in. I'm on. So Give me a gig where there's a place that has a cereal bar, and I'm in. Yes. I'm loyal, the day is long. Uh, what's the best perk about being part of the Pixar family? Um, just being part of it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just that someday um, my daughter will watch the movie, and maybe she'll notice it's me. And then if not, I'll be like, did you notice anything familiar? Yeah, you're just like, what do you mean? Merch next to your face. <laughs> Hello. Um, I think it really hit me when we were at the premiere and they said, let's get ready for the Legends photo. And I was like, what is the Legends photo? And then everyone starts to come out and it's everyone involved in one, two, three, and four. And as someone who grew up with the franchise, I was just like looking around me like, what? what's happening? Randy Newman's right here. I mean, it's just every single character you could think of. And that to be in that Legends photo, like you said, it's going to... It, it will live on in history forever. Yeah. So to be a part of it, I, I just felt like I was a fan who like won. You get to be in the legend, so I'm like, hey. Yeah. I know actors that have been involved in much lesser products that'll wake up in the middle of the night remembering lines from like 30 years ago. Going, if you've been in an engineer accident, call a tenor. Wait, wait. So if you were to wake up and recite one of your favorite lines, what would it be? Um, it's a dinosaur. <gasps> nice. <laughs> My, mine would be, so we have to do this Vogue track, and most of mine was just, 
laugh this way, laugh loud, laugh loud. So I'll have nightmares of me just laughing hysterically oh. over and over in mm -hmm. different ways. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So awesome to hang out with you. You too. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much. Again. Thanks for your time.